Greetings WordPress bloggers. Welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to manually update your WordPress. When you first log into your WordPress WP admin, it may give you this alert right here. Please update your WordPress version. And if you click on update now, you will arrive here at the WordPress updates. And for some reason, if you click on update now and it doesn't work, then you may have to manually update WordPress yourself. And you can easily do that by following the instructions here at wordpress.org. I'll leave a link to this page down below in the video description. And basically, it's just a few steps to follow. It's pretty straightforward. Step number one, download the latest version of WordPress. You can do that by clicking here. It'll go to this page right here, and all you have to do is download WordPress by clicking on this button right here. And it is now downloading, so it takes a few seconds. Okay, now back to the steps. Step number two is unpack the zip file. And I will actually skip this step for now because I'm going to be using cPanel uh, File Manager to upload and unpack the zip file later. So you don't need to do that now. And step three, deactivate the plugin so let's do that go back to your WP admin dashboard click on plugins okay on this page click right here to select all of your plugins select from the drop down menu and click on deactivate and apply okay everything is deactivated okay let's go back to the steps and now step four you need to delete the WP includes and WP admin directory folders on your web server and I forgot to mention that before you do any kind of updating or upgrading your WordPress always make sure to have a backup of your entire web WordPress website and you can easily do this and I have a tutorial for you uh, down below and now let's go to cPanel I'm going to show you how to update WordPress without using FTP or WP admin once you log into your cPanel or hosting control panel Click on File Manager. Okay, here it is. This is my demo directory subdomain. And you can see here, I also have a WP includes and a WP admin folder. So for the here, just have to select it just like that. And then click on delete and confirm. And then do the same for WP includes. Okay, in the next step, step five. I'm actually going to combine it with step six and step seven in one step upload and pretty much everything in one step. It's much easier. So let's go back to the C panel. Let's click on upload right here. Drag and drop the new WordPress file or you can select the new file from here. So here I'm just gonna drag and drop the new WordPress and it is up uploading right now once it is at 100 percent you can now click go back to your directory and locate the new wordpress file or the zip file you just uploaded so here it is and now all you have to do is extract click on this extract button right here so make sure you select the wordpress the new wordpress zip file and then extract and then make sure you click on extract files and then click close and now let's do a reload click here reload this directory and you will see that this folder right here was just extracted out WordPress so if you click on this you will see a brand new installation or the brand new fresh files what you want to do now is click on this select all right here it will select all the files and folders and now Let's click on the move button up here so that we can move all these files out into the actual uh, WordPress uh, site. And I want to move it to my demo folder, which is for my demo WordPress site. And if your WordPress installation is in the root folder, which is public HTML, then you can move it there. But for this, it is in my demo folder so I'm gonna select that click on move files and there it is it moved everything let's click up one level so this is 
My demo folder right here, you can also see the directory address. Currently in right now is the demo folder. So we moved everything here. So we overwrite every file and folder. So let's go back to WP admin. So here is my WP admin for my demo WordPress installation. And there is an alert. So let's click on the update WordPress database. And there it is. It took one second to do that and then click continue. And now I'm back at my WP admin dashboard and the alert is gone. So let's see what this is about right here. My current version is 5.6. And this alert right here for a new update is for a, another plugin. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope it helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks so much for viewing. Please be sure to subscribe to Hunter Webmaster for more WordPress tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and until next time, happy blogging.